Hello everyone. Welcome to the Learning Express YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the common source amplifier with source degeneration. So now, point is that what is the source degeneration and what are the advantages of that? So previously, we were discussing all kind of the configurations uh, or all topologies of common source amplifier with different loads, but without any kind of connection uh, at source potential. Simply the source potential was at zero, but now a source degeneration register is used due to which the source is not at zero potential. So now the point is, what is the source degeneration? So simply we can see that previously the source node was tied with the uh, zero potential, but now the source node is not at zero potential. Instead of that, we can say that the source node is at the potential uh, of ID RS. So this particular amount of voltage is going to drop across this RS and this RS is nothing but uh, going to provide non-zero source value. So now in this case, this VGS is nothing but, this uh, VGS is nothing but V in minus ID RS. So this VGS is nothing but a function of current and overall this function or uh, overall this current is nothing but the function of VGS, the function of VGS. Uh, that is equal to, oh, we know that mu and COX, WIL, VGS minus VTH square and uh, this I consider K, KN. So this VGS is nothing but V in minus IDRS minus VTH whole square. So overall I can say that this ID term is there inside this quadratic or this square term also and this ID is at the left side, left hand side also. So when you solve this equation, we can get a linear equation. So ID is linearized here, linear, yeah, ID is linearized. So previously, uh, we were seeing that the ID has a quadratic relation only. ID has a quadratic relation with the VGS, is a quadratic relation. But now this ID has some linear relation due to this degeneration register. So basically, this is the degeneration process where we are getting drop across this RS. If we are increasing the current by applying more input, you can see that more drop is going to occur across the source terminal and due to which this um, uh, VGS is going to reduce. So your ID is again going to reduce. Overall, we can see that increase in input is going not only going to increase the current, but it is going to limit the increment, this increment, because this drop across this RS is also going to increase and which is ultimately going to increase your source potential. So this is the source degeneration. Now the point is why source degeneration? So basically there is a nonlinear dependence of drain current over this overdrive voltage. So there is a nonlinear dependence of drain current that we know that drain current is nothing but a function of VGS minus VTS. It is a function of this particular voltage and this thing we know that the overdrive voltage. So basically I can say that ID is nothing but a function of overdrive voltage that is equal to K n times of V overdrive square. So this is a nonlinear function. And due to this nonlinearity, there is an introduction of nonlinearity in device characteristics. So the nonlinear dependence of the drain current over the overdrive voltage introduces excessive nonlinearity in device characteristics. And to reduce this nonlinearity, we use some kind of device or can say some kind of degeneration at the source node so that this ID, which was increasing here nonlinearly like this, which was increasing here like this nonlinearly, is now not that much nonlinear. Now it is somehow linear. So that's why we are using this source degeneration. So we can see that here control GM can be obtained. So this graph, these graphs are nothing but without degeneration. These graphs are without degeneration or without source register. 
degeneration and these graphs are with degeneration these graphs are with degeneration and here we can see that the current is non linear function it is increase a quadratic function so it is a function of overdrive voltage is under a quadratic increment but here this current is almost a linear almost a linear uh, function of this input voltage so we are obtaining the linearity of this current and due to this rs only we are getting the limited value of or can say uh, finite value of or controlled value of gm this gm is controlled here and from the expression of gm we can obtain here the value from the expression of gm is nothing but 2i d divided by overdrive voltage we can see here that after particular value for this particular thing the gm expression is different this is the gm uh, without uh, degeneration and um, with the degeneration this gm is nothing but uh, gm yeah it is a uh, gm divided by 1 plus gm rs so this is the basically complete gm and this gm is going to control by rs so when your gm is approaching to infinite or can say a very large value this gm is nothing but 1 upon rs so basically we are controlling the transconductance by applying this source degeneration and we are also making our current linear function of input voltage so these are two advantages of can say advantages of yeah that source degeneration here. so that's why we are using source degeneration so now this is the point uh, how to calculate the voltage gain if we are considering the source degeneration. So this thing uh, we are going to discuss in coming video or the next videos. So this is enough uh, for the introduction part of source degeneration. Uh, why we are using the source degeneration and uh, uh, yeah, what are the advantages of source degeneration and uh, what exactly the source degeneration is. So I think this is enough for this video. Thank you.